It was in a remote pasture of a secluded ranch in the hill country where we found a group of college kids digging in the dirt. But look closely and you'll see that there is structure and method and documentation to go along with the excruciatingly slow and meticulous work. These kids are on a mission. It is extremely slow work. Uh, each day we bring down the whole pit by about five centimeters. Takes patience. A lot of patience. It's been six years since they started unearthing the secrets found in this soil, but that's the pace science takes in the real world. And the whole world is watching and waiting for what this team is uncovering. At first glance, this just looks like any other archaeological dig site, but this one is different. Dr. Michael Waters and this group of students are here to rewrite the history books. <laughs> For more than nine decades, it's been an accepted fact that humans first settled in the Americas around 13,000 years ago. That fact was gleaned from a dig site in New Mexico where tools and artifacts were unearthed that, based on their depth, location, and scientific dating, confirmed a theory of when and how the first Americans came here and where they settled. But now, Dr. Michael Waters and his team of student archaeologists have turned the so-called Clovis Man theory on its ear by presenting evidence that the Clovis people were actually descendants of the settlers who found their way to Texas two to 3,000 years earlier. Now, there was a moment in there, you know, when we got the uh, first column of dating and uh, dates. And when I got those dates back, it was like, wow, you know, this, this site is really 15 or 16,000 years old. And this is pretty exciting. You know, we're, we're changing the, uh, the, uh, the paradigm of American archaeology. We're trying to reconstruct human behavior. And, and, and what people did and how they adapted to their environments and, 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 and you know, how they changed through time. You know, through the years, there's been other archaeological sites that have been found in Wisconsin and Oregon and, and one in Pennsylvania that have slowly shown that people were, you know, in the Americas before Clovis. But uh, this is the first site that's been found in Texas. When those first Texans showed up here, they left a signature. Dr. Waters' team is scraping back the layers of time to see what they left here at what he says was a campsite for tool making. And as promised, the artifacts are brought into the light for the first time in thousands of years. We found something, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a nice biface. This is some kind of probably little tool, but... We're the first people to look upon these with any kind of notion of interest in probably about 8,000 years, so it's, it's really interesting to, to really touch these for the first time and get a chance to really inspect them. It's, it's fascinating. And it's the light itself that reveals their age. Traditionally, we, we try to date archaeological sites using the radiocarbon method, and, and we can date bone or we can date charcoal. But unfortunately, here at the site, we don't have either one of those because it's central Texas. Things like that just don't preserve. And, and so instead, we turn to utilizing a, tech that we call, a technique we call the luminescence dating technique. And with this technique, you can date the last time sediments were exposed to sunlight. Brandon Finnerty is a student from Canada whose find is just another piece of an enormous puzzle. It's really almost a chance to play time detective. You get a chance to really piece out how humans behaved in a deep, deep past. And uh, it's a spectac spectacular feeling to finally recreate that. An interesting fact about this type of archaeology, while it is human artifacts the team is searching for, the artifacts themselves are not what they value most. 
Archaeology is the documentation. The artifacts are beautiful. We're happy to see them. We love them. We wouldn't have gotten into archaeology if we didn't like them, but that's not important. If uh, a great flood came through tomorrow and took all of our artifacts away, we'd be sad, but if we had the paperwork still, we'd have what was important for us. To me, the most fascinating thing you could find at a site would be Clovis material. It's very exciting, and, and so we're still trying to understand what Clovis is, but also, too, it's uh, probably the most exciting thing for me is to find material older than Clovis like we had here. And that's what the Center for the Study of the First Americans is all about at Texas A&M. Yeah, all the bags that you see here, this is all part of the material that we bought back from the site. Back on the A&M campus, tens of thousands of tiny artifacts are examined, cataloged, and prepared to add weight to the evidence that Dr. Waters' controversial find changes everything. So I think what you're witnessing is a paradigm shift in that people are moving away from thinking that Clovis were the first people and that there were people here earlier. What I try to do is, in, in my research, is cover all the avenues by which, you know, people could question the site. And, and at this point, people are looking at it, trying to figure out where the holes are and, you know. You uh, put it out there and say, shoot it down if yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, shoot it down if you can. but. The data is pretty solid, you know. We've got good artifacts in a good geologic context, and they're clearly dated. It's an interesting time to be in the first American field. Dr. Michael Waters is making history on this small piece of land by changing what we thought we knew about the first Americans. How deep now, there are still thing? questions about exactly how, how they got down, here. But with time, Dr. Waters hopes to answer that question too. For now, he is certain they were here several thousand years before anyone thought, and that this part of Texas was their home. All the answers lie within the Texas ground, and Dr. Waters hopes to bring the truth to light, one centimeter of soil at a time. Here in this little valley is a, a, a secret that's finally being revealed, telling the story of the first Americans. And we don't know if out there on another piece of property there might even be an older archaeological site, but that's the thrill of the discovery and the hunt.